It's the vibe yeah. show, baby. Oh, and I've got the gorgeous, the sexy, the sensational drum roll. Cheryl with me today, my gorgeous, lovely, beautiful woman. Could you please introduce yourself and tell our audience who you are, what your vision is in the world, what you're doing? Because this woman is such a beautiful soul. She's doing some gorgeous work around the planet to raise vibration and to really like support the evolution and growth of mankind. So without further ado, beautiful woman, let us know a little bit about you, what your vision is and how you're executing it. (laughs) Thank you. Oh, thanks so much for having me on such a great show. I mean, even the name, you know, it's like, it's totally up my alley. And Mm -hmm. that was such a great introduction. I love that. Thank you so much. I receive it. So, um, gosh, you know, I mean, I've really, really honestly been on the journey of just um, helping shift vibration on the planet since I was born. I mean, we all are without knowing it, but I was very conscious of it from about the age of uh, six and became very conscious of, you know, being an instrument for higher vibrations to use me to to touch people and I became much 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 more conscious of it when I was about yeah, just, just, you, know. just you guys because that could have been misunderstood right like you became open to higher vibration to work through you to touch people um mm-hmm. what Cheryl's saying just to de-jargon that a little bit it's not sexual and weird <laughs> in case you guys are like what's that creepy oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit so creepy <laughs> Cheryl is a beautiful Cheryl is a beautiful channel and what that means is she's literally expanded her um, the her frequency in a way where she can download um, and interact and co-create with non-physical entities. So you know her soul, light beings, angels, all sorts of stuff, right? And I know like a lot of the people that follow this show also follow Abraham Hicks. So it's kind of like, she's kind of like Esther Hicks, but a bit different, if that makes sense. If you're needing a bit of, if you're needing a bit of clarity. Um, Yeah, so she's opened herself up to be able to receive guidance and to be able to like have light beings flow through her so she can do some pretty amazing healing work. So when she touches people, she touches them from a transformational perspective, not from a creepy, you know, like, yeah, stalkerish. Um, yeah, sleazy perspective. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'll write that right up front. Yeah. So, um, and actually, so <laughs> right. and you know, you will even the even being a well, I so fast forward to what I do today is I work in the field of healing, energy healing, music, and coaching, and everything I do, and I do a lot in the humanitarian space. And everything that I do is basically the bottom, the core piece of it is about shifting frequency and shifting frequency um, even to more of those higher vibrations, higher frequencies of love, gratitude, joy. You know, I mean, you know, we all know if, if this world was filled with more love, it would be a very different place. So... At the core of everything I'm doing, it's really it's really a mission of love. You know, it's really to raise that vibration of love on the planet. And there's just these various avenues that I do. And some of it even can get quite scientific in sense of you can actually measure and mm. you know, test. Those Talk frequencies. about that a bit. I'm kind of curious. Talk about yeah. the scientific. <laughs> right. glasses on. Right, <laughs> right. exactly. <laughs> Well, especially in the music field. So I start, you know, I've always always had this interest in music, always wanted to play the harp. I didn't actually start playing the harp until I was a young adult. And um, and I had already been, you know, like I say, in the music world. I come from an Irish family. It's just a lot of musicians in the family, a lot of, like, music in our environment. And um, when I had started on this journey with, like, uh, energy healing and so on earlier than that. So when I found that you could use music as a um, tool for healing based on the principle of frequency, it was super exciting to me because I could bring all these worlds together in the music field. And when I started out in the sound healing field, there was still people doing it. There were people who were researching it and so on, but it wasn't as 
popular it is right now. And so, you know, just for fun, could you please explain what sound healing is to, to there could be someone listening that, that doesn't, hasn't yeah. like, you know, isn't going, yeah, it's not popular in my world. Meaning if, if, someone, right. if someone's listening and it's kind of new for them, mm-hmm. how would you explain sound healing? I would have to explain, I mean, it, if, if everybody thinks about it a little bit, they all know that they receive sound healing it, all the time, you know, regardless of whether they seek it. Because most people love music of some kind. And music is puts us in different moods. It can shift our mood. It can shift us. It can find, um, we can actually find resonance with music when we're sad. Sometimes we need to hear a sad song. We need to cry out, right, the pain or whatever. So music is healing. We all experience music as as healing in some form. And people will often say, they'll say this to me, but they'll, you know, they'll say to other people, I just love to hear the sound of your voice. Because even the sound of the voice, you know, it carries a vibration, it carries a frequency that can be very soothing, very healing, or it can be the opposite. (laughs) You know, it can be either way. So music and healing is all about resonance and it's all about frequency. So how I use music and healing and how I was also trained to use it is through the principle of resonance in that um, when resonance meets with resonance, it's an increase of energy. So you know how you've seen the, um, where the opera singer hit, sings and then shatters a glass? That's actually called double resonance. The, the ah. frequency he's singing at matches the resonance of the glass and it, it's it, in that, that increase of energy causes it to burst. That's super so cool. That, I didn't yeah. know that. Something. Right there. Yeah. So, um, so when working with music, I mean, there's different frequencies that that music carry. You can actually, you know, as a uh, an engineer, you can see that. You can see the different hertz. Um, yeah. You can see, you know, how many hertz, which is basically the rates, the the rate at which it's vibrating, the the speed which is vibrating so when it comes to music and healing you can consciously choose different frequencies and different hertz this is awesome um, because i love this because guys like you know i don't know when it was it was it wasn't even that long ago it was last year it was in 2017 that i came across um understanding that music has frequencies and at different frequencies it activates different things inside of us and you can literally like open up your heart, activate dormant parts of you, activate dormant frequency codes, dormant DNA, do also all sorts of cool stuff when the music is playing at a specific frequency. And you can even go to YouTube and type in 528HZ um, frequency and that's like the opening of the heart or, or 432HZ or you can just like type in HZ music and you'll have a whole bunch of stuff come up so you can totally google this and you'll find so much stuff on it and what's interesting was for me when I first came across the fact that you know the music like our popular music has been has been um, calibrated to a frequency that actually isn't in alignment with our soul it's not in alignment in the sense that when you listen to the radio that music doesn't activate you because the frequency it's been run through is a lower frequency than what's in alignment for you and your soul and for you to vibe at a higher frequency. Cool. So you can actually go on YouTube and there's frequency converter um, like songs too. Like you can type in, you know, your favorite artist frequency converted and listen to people who have converted popular songs into a frequency that literally activates higher vibration inside of you super super cool and so I had to share that really quickly because um yeah because for me what I started doing was I literally like and for free guys on YouTube right you just type in 5288HZ and I'm sure Cheryl's got some pretty amazing stuff to share with you beyond this but I just started playing this music really low I could barely even hear it just for its vibration not even for because it's like you know they they mix it up with meditation music it's quite peaceful and I started playing this music in my home and I kid you not it was like it was literally changing the vibrational frequency of my whole house so when I was inside of the atmosphere like everything inside of me was changing and you gotta you gotta get right that you're made of water 
and your the water inside of you literally is impacted by the vibration that you're surrounding yourself in. There's a guy called Dr. Omoto who did all this work on freezing uh, water particles and capturing them, um, capturing them um, to like when they when they showered the the particle like when they showered the water with love it would actually be captured in the most beautiful crystals. And when they showered the water with, well, hate, it got it distorted and did all sorts of icky stuff. They captured vibration, you know, inside the water. Because we're made of water, whatever's going on around us impacts our water body, impacts our vibrational, vibrational state. So if you play high vibe music all the time in your environment, you're actually... Uh, raising the vibration in your water inside your body and you're feeling high vibey and that's just something I had to share with you because Cheryl does even deeper cool shit with this stuff so uh, keep going my love so when it comes that's to awesome. I love you <laughs> just listening to you tell it yeah so uh, and you know Einstein said and of course it's taken a hundred years to keep proving that Einstein was right about just about everything he said um, and that everything is frequency everything is vibration so um, so when it comes to the, the music and like you say, the, the water and our whole being is frequency. We are an energetic being and everything we interact with is a frequency, just like the glass had a frequency, you know. And um, in sound healing, what I do is I find the, the core resonance of that person and the key that they resonate with. And then I play music in that same key and then I can use different modes of music and stuff to like according to what they're dealing with and what they, they need a breakthrough on or whatever. But I play in their key because then that's resonance meeting with resonance. There's that increase of energy. And, you know, because everybody everybody heals themselves. You know, they, they, the healing process is ignited for them. So what any healer ever does is catalyze that that process for somebody else and allow it to happen so music's just so powerful like that is also really powerful because it it over it bypasses a lot of the objections that we get from our programming and it just yeah. bypasses you know right into you meeting literally at the level of frequency but yeah. even when I do yeah go. yeah I love that because ultimately guys the the true language of the universe is vibration you know mm -hmm. and like words, the way we speak them, um, is kind of primitive compared to what we're capable of. <laughs> like really, we can download so much more information in so many different ways and, and frequencies and sounds are so powerful, so, so powerful. I'm curious because this whole, we all have our own key, right? I don't, yeah. know, if it's, I don't know if it's similar or, um, or on the same path, but one of the things I talk about is that we, we all have our own unique vibrational frequency codes. We've got our own genius, our own gifts that we come. We've already activated in certain yeah. parts, right? And so some of us are naturally just really good at things. And we have been, like you just you were there's things you were born like awesome at. Those codes inside of you, those frequencies are activated. You know, and for the most part, often we don't even know what our genius is because we take it for granted because it's been there our whole life. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of curious, is this what you're talking about with the key that we've got? Is that, or can you explain a little bit more? Yeah, it totally is. It's that vibrational frequency. And even though, you know, it, it, when it comes to music, you have, you have um, certain choices. Like, you know, there's, there's eight, there's seven major notes and then the half notes in a scale, right? So you, a person's going to vibrate with one of those primarily. That's their predominant vibration. And one of the ways I can determine it, just one of the ways, because there's various ways, is by listening to someone's voice because they repeat their own sound, like their own note, multiple times in the course of talking. It's the one they repeat the most. So that one starts to jump out, you know, and it's like, oh, okay. Well, to you it does. I'm sure other people are like, what the How do you do this, Cheryl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's her genius. <laughs> right, right. That's, yeah, it's true. And then the um, every every note also has a feeling to it. It has a, a certain feel that goes with it. And there's all these kinds of things that go along with that. So these things become apparent. Um, but it's like anything. It's not a cookie cutters. It's not like, oh, you're the key of A. 
therefore your everybody the key of A is this you know in this is your list there'll be tendencies but you're going to have these nuances of difference so that's the that's yeah. the great thing about being able to do something very customized to somebody because all those nuances can be brought in you know and that's where the more fine-tuned you are as an instrument to serve you know then the more you're tuning into all those fine things and that's something that I found is that not only do people heal in different areas but they open up all this stuff they open up their genius starts to come out it starts to unfold because basically what's happened is the person's come back into harmony with who they are who oh, they I essentially are that. yeah and when you're yeah. in harmony with who you are you express everything that you are yeah oh I just adore that you know to me it's like it's resonating with your soul it's you know, yeah. when you're vibing at the frequency of your soul, of your code, of your, you know, your just, we do, we all have our own frequency. And to me, that frequency is your frequency when you've aligned to all of you, all the dimensions, you mm -hmm. know, like literally all the way up until you are God, source energy, the universe, right. all of it, that oneness kind of, yeah. that oneness um, frequency, that to me is our, like, that's the that's the frequency that is so oh it's so delicious I'm like excited <laughs> I'm um, excited about it. yes it is I know I love that you know and 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 again you know if we think about if everyone on the planet was in harmony with themselves there wouldn't be any wars there wouldn't be any suffering because everyone would be in harmony so when you're in harmony you don't hurt people no you know, you harm people no. Yeah. when you're in alimentment with your soul you <laughs> Don't, right, like, you, you just no you know you just, you're, so, you're happy and you know yeah. and, and and you you just naturally give because we're wired to be that we're wired to be love really so mm -hmm. so it would be a different world so that's part you know that's that's a big yeah. driving force for me is to just help the world come into harmony with its with everybody it's on it. for our listeners right now for our viewers on um, viewers or listeners if you're catching the video if you're catching the audio whichever way you rock it out um what what could you advise so um obviously you guys can reach out to cheryl if this is like making you go oh that's delicious i want to give that a go we'll have cheryl's website link up for you um or if you could also just mention your website link right now um as well that would be awesome yeah. it's super easy because it's just my name so it's cherylangela.com and i have a new site under construction that's not up yet so it's the previous site but it'll serve in terms so you're of you're either going to catch this and go oh nice new site or you won't know you actually won't know if it's a new one or the old one when you <laughs> <Right>. come <on. laughs> exactly because yeah. it should be up soon yes yeah. awesome and beyond yeah. that beyond mm -hmm. that what's what's something that like what's some cool advice or a tip or something you could give to the people watching and listening around frequency and sound and how they could use sound in their day-to-day to raise yeah. their vibration. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I would always start with what you have on you at all times, which is your voice. <laughs> and, and start actually just, even if you think you have a terrible sounding voice, is to start, which I, I never think anybody does, you know, it can, everybody can find their voice, as it were. But it's to actually play with your voice. Yeah, right. I mean, just play with it. You know, you use it as, we naturally, no, 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 no. Like yeah, just look or, around. You, know, you know, people moan, um, they, they do these different things, right, when things happen to them, so a way to experiment with just your voice and using it as a way to release um, energy or to bring more energy in and just playing with your voice is something that everybody can do. You know, okay, can you, you give me an example to... of that for, for, for those of us who like to have an example? Could you play <laughs> right. with your voice right now and then oh, I'll play man. with mine? Okay, so <laughs> on the spot. Um, well, you could start with humming, you know, just, you know, start with humming and just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and if, like, if you have a pain in your body, mm -hmm. it's a really good thing to do is go to the pain in your, awareness and just enfold the pain in your love instead of you know we, we fight against things so much 
mm. instead of making peace with them. When we make peace with them, they have a chance to have more space around it and to shift. So if we had a pain in our body, just to go to where that pain is, just to, you could hold it, you could send love to it, and then actually start to voice it. So you can send it love, you know, by just... Love that. And then if the pain itself needs to even express something else, let it express that. And, you know, know that you're bringing, you're just allowing it to, you're not fighting against the pain, you're, you're giving it space, you're giving it love. And naturally it will start to tell you what it needs. You know, yeah. it's been that pain, there's fear. Yeah, what a beautiful way to communicate with your body. Gorgeous. I love that. Communicate with your body with sound and love and yeah. then intuitively, you know, pick up on what it might be that it needs. Like I'm sort of, as you were saying in this, I was sort of thinking what a wonderful way to, you know, to assist someone who is potentially wanting to drop a few kilos of weight as opposed to looking at yourself in the mirror going, oh, I'm fat. Um, which is sending negative, vi like low vibrational vibration in through you. And then when you go to the gym and do exercise and, and diet in, in that vibration, it's so difficult to shift and manifest the ideal body. But what yeah. if instead, you know, you were to like whatever, if any, like it just came to me. So clearly someone listening wants to wants to receive this and you're welcome. The, um, <laughs> but if, yeah, if... Yeah. Like imagine if you were to like whatever like your problem area is or whatever, in, you know, just put your hands on it, love it. Like girl, I love like here's some love for you, you know, like and then hum beautifully, just hum some love into that area and see what comes up for you. And yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thanks, Cheryl. You're welcome. Actually, that reminds me of something that um, I was working with someone who was going into a, a bodybuilding bikini competition. And um, she was feeling like that she had this little stubborn couple of, I mean, already looked in amazing shape, but had these little stubble, seven pounds to, trying to get off the middle section, you know. And um, to most people, it wouldn't be a big deal, but to someone going into a bikini competition, it's a big deal. And we had this whole conversation around loving it instead of having so much war with it. Mm. And within less than 48 hours she messaged me to say that it had got it had it had gone and in fact when she went to a competition which she did extremely well in by the way she um they kept saying what a small waist she had that's and, awesome isn't it? <laughs> and she always felt that was her problem area so yeah and, she she her, and, what she, and what she did was just send love and like she loved and hummed and just yeah, and hum accepted accepted herself I, you know, it just accepted it and loved it and, you know, gave it acceptance instead of this rejection. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So I love you. Yeah. Hello, little bit of something. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. Exactly. Hey, when it comes to, like, I love sound. I, I love sound vibe work. I just adore mm -hmm. it. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's, I've just, seen oh. you doing some of that in your business training courses and I love that you do incorporate that yeah totally <laughs> yeah. yeah totally I even like at the last um yeah I, I look at every event but the one prior so I uh, with my mastermind every mm -hmm. three months we meet for three days and we do deep awesome shift work and we shift and you know like expand expand our frequencies to match our visions and work on strategy like it's awesome and so I literally um got a sound healer he's pretty cool um, I might even have him on the show. The, his, his name's Matt, Matt Bong, Matt Bongo, I call him, or um, Matt Gonguru is his actual oh. stage name. Anywho, he plays like every instrument you could possibly imagine. Yeah, you know, he's got like a gong, a didgeridoo, a, you know, the hang drums, the tribal drums, the crystal oh, bowls, that. like, yeah. my gosh, like everything you could possibly think of, right? And, um, and he does this beautiful, like, shamanic breath work mixed with these amazing oh. instruments, mixed with, um, like, sense, like all the senses are ev evoked. You know, you go in, you go into the journey with an intention, though. Like, a, there's an intention and then you use the sound and the activations to clear anything that's, you know, like blocking you without having to sit there in therapy because pff, right. who wants to do that, right? And then install, <laughs> install, you know, the new frequencies. 
And so I literally uh, got him to drive all the way from Sydney, where he's based, in a big van with all these instruments down to Melbourne and facilitate this massive, awesome activation for my first class <laughs> mastermind peeps. They loved it. It was so, so cool. And we used it to activate to activate royalty frequency and coding because they're all leaders, they're all business owners, and to really right. step into being the ultimate queen, king, emperor, empress yeah. of their kingdom, to really look after their kingdom, but to also receive, you know, all the freedom and abundance that comes with being a leader. So we literally use sound, you know, like music, like it was freaking yeah. all amazing to activate all these dormant DNA codes. It was beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that's what you probably that's saw. So <laughs> I love that, and and I love it because, like I was saying, you know, that sound isn't just healing. Oops, I lost you for a minute. Sound oh, you went upside just... down, and now you're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very magical like that. <laughs> no, um, sound isn't just about healing something, and, and never actually look at it. I never look at something like we're fixing something that's wrong. It's yeah. always about harmonizing something back to harmony. But then there's this whole other aspect too, of opening up all this stuff like you say in the you know in downloading downloading even more things that open doors and keys like the keys to your royalty and so on and and I'll do group sound healing like that as well and we'll have an intention yeah, so and fun. it might be to open the heart more to love and use those frequencies yeah. but it could be you know yeah expanding into being you you as a visionary whatever the can yeah. Thing. yeah super super powerful guys like really powerful stuff it's um, so cool. to be yeah, breath work, sound, sound healing with intention though, mm. because there are people out yeah. there. There's a whole bunch of you know hippies out there utilizing this work to just get into a good like you know just ooh that feels good, but yeah. um and that's all that's all lovely. Like it's nice to vibe high, feel good, buzz out, you know, bliss out, and kind of like have a have a amazing natural high. To me, when I look at this kind of work, it's how can I take this spiritual work, this fifth dimensional kind of energetic work and bring it into the third dimension, bring it into physical reality. And the way we do that is with intention. You know, it's like, how do you want, like, to me, it's like adding a tel intelligence and intention to it. So it's okay. I want to call in my next million dollars this year, like whatever, like you could, you could use it for money. You can use it for impact. You can use it for freedom. You can use it to call in love. You can use it to uh, improve your health. You know, anything, anything that you're truly desiring, you set the intention and it could be a monetary intention for argument's sakes. And then in that space, you allow the, the sound healing, the shamanic breath work, the all of it to actually release. And you're doing like deep energetic work so much deeper than this physical plane. And because it's so deep and it's impacting your energy field, the, the codes that you're walking around with all the time, when you expand this, when you awaken, when you activate, when you create resonance, resonance, as Cheryl says, with parts of yourself that you're kind of not owning, which are, you know, abundance and whatever, like all of it, health, abundance, royalty, mm -hmm. impact, love. When you start to awaken all of this part of you inside of your, your field, your energy field, you know, it's just yeah, it's it's a it's lovely it's a to do world. that. And it's so yeah, it's a whole fun. other world. Right, it's so much more fun to to create from that place and that space of just expansion. And uh, you know, it, it, Einstein, you know, say another thing he said was, and this is where you know we've got law of attraction. It should be law of vibration. It's really law of oh, vibration. I mean, it's, yeah, it is both. Yeah, it's both. It's because <laughs> he said he says you can't attract something that you are not, you know, you have to be in the vibration of it in order to realize it in the physical. And that's always a conundrum for people because how do you get into a vibration of abundance when you don't feel, you know, when your circumstances aren't abundant, but yet the conundrum is to be in the vibration of it and then you will attract it. So that's where we have to be conscious of putting ourselves into that vibration and maintaining the vibration. I know people who have very little, who are some of the most abundant people I've ever met. Yeah, they just like because abundance is a look. It's a state of it's a state of being. It's a mindset. Yeah. It's what's true to you. You know, like there's also a stack of people going after physical wealth. That's not their truth. They're doing it to impress right. people, not because they truly 
truly desire it. And that's you're way off there as well. It's not, you know, like it's first knowing what is the physical abundance I'd like to experience because um, monetary abundance is just one piece of abundance. Abundance right. comes oh my gosh, the frequency of abundance is everything. It's having it all. It's, you know, it's having your mojo, you know, it's having a sexual drive. It's having health and vitality and energy. It's having um, your, oh, you just pause yourself again, my love. There she's back, oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, like to me, abundance is everything. And it's, it's also like we come to planet Earth with our own unique coding with our own values and virtues as codes. And when you really start to like take off everything that's not you, that you know, that maybe you put on because you thought you had to wear this hat to be liked in this environment, you had to wear this jacket to be approved of in that environment. There's so much stuff that we put on ourselves that we're not truly self-expressed, that we're not truly being ourselves because we're wearing other people's codes <laughs> you know yeah. we're wearing some of my dad like your dad's codes your mum's codes your teacher's codes your friend's codes you know you're walking around you know like yeah like to me when which is also why I like sound um healing because with sound healing if you go in with the intention to unleash your true essence to open up your code you'll actually find you'll like just by having that intention you're going to call into your physical reality the information the tools the how to let go of the stuff that's not you and to really step into who you are and then to shift into a frequency where being you a hundred percent not giving a shit what anyone thinks owning your unique frequency being in resonance with you is your minimum standard for life and when you're in that frequency, abundance is evident everywhere because that is the heartbeat of abundance. Truly, you know, truly allowing and giving to yourself. To me, everything, like when I look at abundance, it's this beautiful give-receive cycle. Yet ultimately so often inside of our history, inside of the DNA coding of human race, we have had impregnated into us codes of slavery, codes of you know, sacrifice yourself, like, you know, do uh, give to others, you know, don't be selfish. All of this stuff has been put onto us as a race and we carry those vibrations within us. They're not ours. That's so not your truth. Your truth is abundant. You mm -hmm. came to, you honestly, you came to planet Earth with so much abundance frequency that you got your bottom wiped for you. You got carried around everywhere. You got fed. You got treated <laughs> better than kings and queens did. It's and then, and then, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then somewhere along the lines, something went wrong. <laughs> so hold on, I'm gonna wipe my own bum. I'm gonna dress myself now. I'm gonna feed myself now. With you. Yeah. I Which I'm glad we do. Right. <laughs> Yet at the same time, like, get it, our core yeah. frequency is abundance and there is this give-receive cycle. And I believe that when we're born, we're actually, our capacity to receive is beautiful. It's in harmony. And that's why we stay alive. Otherwise, we wouldn't receive all the nurture that we needed in order to develop into an adult, into a human, right? Mm -hmm. And so to me, if you really want to call in more physical money into your world, you've got to start giving to yourself because you've got to be receiving. You've got to be in the vibrational flow of receiving and in every area. And one of the greatest ways you can give to yourself is to love yourself, is mm -hmm. to love you. And that's why I loved when it was like, oh, you can totally like, you know, hum love into your whole being. You know, next time you're doing your appreciation um, work, like next time you're doing your gratitude work, be grateful for yourself. Be grateful for your virtues, for your values, for everything that's working, everything you love about yourself, you know, and give yourself the capacity to be happy, to be playful, to be free, to kind of return back to some of your childhood innocence and unleash that character, you know, into the world even more. And, yeah, just, oh, love, love, love. Loving this conversation. <laughs> Super cool. I know. <laughs> I love it. love seeing you all lit up with it. Yeah, it, that's so important. I, I often say to clients that um, if I only had one thing to tell people that was the key to, to changing their life, it's to love yourself. 
and loving yourself meaning loving everything about yourself you know the extra pounds that you know doesn't mean you stay there it just means that you love and accept yourself in all what we might say the good the bad the ugly all parts of it because as you love into every part of yourself it has the chance to, to move and shift anyway you know but but first is that full acceptance and we can receive lots of praise and love from outside but if we don't give it to ourselves we'll never it'll never really mean anything it just doesn't you know it just we're looking for our own approval yeah and be, like you know on top of that too like guys get it if you're not giving to yourself how can you're not in the vibrational frequency for the universe to give to you we are a reflection the universe ref is reflecting you back to you everything like honestly everything you do to you the universe is reflecting back so if people are not being nice to you get it it's because you're not being nice to you you know and the nicer you are to you so i know like my you know most of my clients are what we call over achievers they're high achievers they have the high achiever coding inside of them now yeah. <laughs> and you know and I attract them and I, I yeah, yeah. And the truth of the matter is I can serve them at a high level because I have that coding and I've evolved that coding to be able to get to a place where I could step into freedom the high achiever code is a slave code and yeah the world looks at that code and goes wow you did this you're number one at this you you know what they don't see is these people are friggin exhausted adrenally fatigued you know, and the in, their internal um, pressure that they put themselves under, their inner boss, their inner manager, their inner leader needs to be fired, like, and really needs an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and yeah. it's funny, right, that, like, it's, it's getting that, it's getting that when we expand, when we grow, when we continue to love ourselves, when we do the inner love work, when we love all over ourselves, when we ask ourselves, what would love do? How would love you know, respond in this situation? What would love say to me right now? If we keep doing that work, we expand, we shift our frequency and the overachiever ends up still achieving great things, but they do it in harmony with their soul. They co-create with the whole universe. They surrender control. They start to receive so much more guidance, so much more assistance and support that they get to experience freedom for the first time in their life because this is the amount of effort that goes like it's a tiny amount of effort compared to what they used to because they started to love themselves they started to be loving be nurturing to themselves i'm curious because to me i want to give you guys some tangible stuff that you could use to me there's been a few things um, uh, that have shifted me in my, like, I'm going to give you my top three and I'd love Cheryl to also share her top three around self-love and the journey into expanding. Because to me, it's not about shutting parts of you down. It's about expanding your vibration. So those parts of you that were, you know, being a pain in the ass are just so little that they don't, like, they're like a mozzie bite, you know, they're no big deal. And we do this by expanding our vibration and shifting to higher vibrational states, right? Now, to me, my favorite, my my favorite few are um, one of them is a relationship with my soul, and it's getting that I love my soul, and my soul loves me. My soul never, ever, 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 ever looks at me and goes, "Oh, you dumbass! Oh, I can't believe you said that! <laughs> oh, you look fat in that!" You know, <laughs> Did your soul ever say mean things to you out of curiosity? Never. Yeah. Never, yeah, right? Always like, very you're loving and kind. Such an <laughs> awesome, awesome being. Yeah. Like, I, lo I love hanging out with my soul. Just so, so high yeah. vibe and beautiful. Yeah, I love soul so, time. Like, yeah. in every one of my dreams, like, so supportive, the best advisor. Awesome, right? So, one of my favorite ways is, and I teach my clients, and this is some of the deepest work that I do, and it's literally opening up and connecting people to um, a vibe at a frequency where they can communicate with their soul and all of its friends and like literally tap into the infinite intelligence of the universe, create their marketing this way, channel in, you know, I call it fifth dimension marketing and fifth dimension ways of doing business. Does this make sense? So yeah. how do we do, if you're new to this, some of you have already, like some of you are my clients and you're listening to this going, yeah, Gabby, and some of you um, aren't. And 
maybe you should be. I'm just <laughs> joking. <laughs> um, no, in all in all fairness, right? One of my favorite ways was to just start talking to my soul and get that my soul's always coming from love and start going, hey, soul, waking up in the morning and the first person I speak to is my soul, not my partner, not my dog, not my phone, you know, but taking that quiet moment to connect to my soul and connect that there's so much more to me than this personality and there's like greatness inside of me, frequencies that are so supportive and high. And so one of my favorite things is to start my day talking to my soul. Hey, soul, you know, good morning, and telling my soul what I intend for that day. Hey, soul, today I want to do this and this and this and this, you know, and I'd love your support. I'd love you to flow through me and and um, and co-create with me. One of my favorite things, I really encourage you guys to start talking to your soul. And at first, you may not hear anything back and you may feel a bit silly. Like when I first started doing this stuff, I remember uh, putting, because you want to, put yourself into a beautiful state of vibration. So nature is one of my favorite places and it always like the environment of nature shifts my, always raises my vibration. Okay, and yeah. So, yeah. And so I'd go for walks. I'd go for walks, definitely leave my phone at home. I'd go for walks and I just start talking to my soul. Hey soul, how are you? And you know, on day one, I'm like, Hey soul. And it's not talking back. <laughs> the, um, and on day two, I'm like, Hey soul. And it's still not talking back. And then all of a sudden, I felt this connection. I felt like I could feel its warmth. I could feel it talking back. And it was talking back in my voice, yet the tone was so loving. And so, like, it was like like my voice all of a sudden, you know, um, sounded like just, yeah, just really loving and caring. Also cheeky. My soul's cheeky. It's, like, super funny. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ways. The other couple um, into really self-love have been getting that, yes, I have a soul, which is the energetic part of me, and there's a whole energetic component to myself and taking care of that relationship, but also getting that we are in the physical world. And there's a physical me, like even though technically it's energy, it's still in the physical world, in the 3D, and it's taking care of this body by giving it water and like giving it good quality water and exercise and high vibrational foods and, and really loving yourself, you know, caring for your body, not because you want to lose weight, but because it's your body, like give to yourself first, love yourself enough to give your body the nutrients, the um, and Oh, well, number three, <laughs> the, for me anyway, number three for me is maintaining uh, a, a relationship with myself. But one of the one of the ways that I actually created this self love connection was uh, a technique I learned from Louise Hay actually, and it was mirror work, looking in the mirror by yourself, looking in the mirror, looking into it's called soul gazing, and you literally soul gaze with yourself. You look in a mirror. You look straight into your eyes, right into your eyes, into your soul, and you say, I love you. I love you over and over again for like a minute every single day until you'll, like for a lot of people when they do this, you know, within a couple of days, they're literally crying. There's so much release of shit, and it's a really therapeutic healing thing to do for 30 days, just a minute or two a day saying I love you a couple of times a, a day to yourself in the mirror until you see your soul and go, oh, my God. And you have this moment and you'll you'll know when you've got it because it's that, that's when you resonate with your soul. That's when you've got that boom, boom, and right. it all clicks in. So they're my three favourite. Tell me, what are some of your favourite ways to love on yourself and to connect with your soul? <laughs> wow. Well, I love everything you said because I do exactly all of those things. Um, for me, having that time with my soul, just being able to, you know, have, and I call it even soul time, you know, like to go into nature. Nature's the perfect place for me. That's where I feel like I find the most peace and quiet within my own soul because the environment supports that. In, and there's that, again, there's that hum from the earth. There's that, that healing vibration from the earth. And nature is, unless man does something to it, <laughs> you know, be human race or something to it, it's in harmony with itself. And mm -hmm. so it's already in harmony with itself. So it's easy if you, to, when we go into it, it brings us into harmony with ourselves. Yeah, so it's totally a place yeah. where I do really connect with my soul deeply in nature. And I love and music. 
is a place where I definitely connect very deeply into my soul. In fact, I can get completely lost, you know, in, in music. Um, I do mirror work, and I do um, also um, prescribe, as it were, or mirror work to, to all of my clients because it's just so powerful. I've seen people's lives transform so oh, much completely. from yep. that one exercise, you know, just that one thing. And, and I, I'll do three aspects to it, and now it's more just free form, you know, but when you're really building that momentum of self-love, um, I would tell myself three things I was grateful for about myself that day, uh, three things I love about myself, and three things I forgive myself for, which could be that day or any other day. In my case, I would feel guilty for things I didn't do. You know, like I used to take on blame because I figure if I took it on, and I think it's part of just being a very empathic person and wanting to have harmony. So as a kid and everything, if there was... If, if, if there was um, something had happened, I would, even if it, consciously, you know, um, intellectually speaking, there's no way that's your fault. And yet I would feel like it was. <laughs> you know, I'd feel some level of, of responsibility about it. So this was a thing I had to really shift in my world because um, that you guilt blame energy. Okay. Yeah, and that, I can imagine there's a stack of people listening going, oh, my God, I do that. Yeah. yeah. Please share a bit deeper onto that because, yeah, that's a, that's a really important one to shift. Well, we all, have, we all have different things, right, that, you know, we carry, like you mentioned about the overachiever part. And for me, um, I think I just have this where because I think I've been wired as, 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 a, as an empath since I was, you know, since birth, I've been a healer as, as young as I could start doing it. And so I always felt like I had to make things better for everybody. So, you know, and you, and you do learn that you can never fix anybody. They can only fix themselves. And all you can do is help them and support them. And the best thing you could ever do is be the best version of yourself. And that naturally helps everybody. But that's something, you know, that was learned in the fire of life. Um, yeah. And so if, when I would look at myself, I, would, I came to realize in my own inner work that I carried a lot of guilt and blame for things that had nothing to do with me. I mean, if someone was suffering somewhere else, I would think I would feel badly about that. You know, I would feel guilty you about You intercepting having... the vibration. Yeah, you were yeah. totally letting that vibration sit and reside inside your field. Yeah. And there's no need to do that, guys. Like, yeah, out of curiosity. So, yeah, so for you, your journey – um, yeah, your journey into loving yourself enough to shield yourself and only let beautiful vibration into your field. Can you share a little bit about like what you, what were some of the, what's, what's one, what's one of the biggest breakthroughs? What's one of the biggest shifts? What's one of the things that really like expanded you in mm -hmm. that journey? Well, this piece right here definitely is, I think that's why, why it came to mind and why I mentioned it because, um, just the, the, you know, a lot of people can have things they don't like about themselves and they criticize themselves for. And it's really coming right up. I, I didn't really have that going on, but have more of like this taking on the blame for things, feeling like, oh, it must be my fault, you know, that that happened, which, you know, like I say, consciously speaking, makes absolutely no sense. But digging down, realizing I was carrying that burden at different times, not just all the time, but at different times. So really loving and accepting myself in regardless of, um, you know, any shortcomings too, like anything so that normally yeah. you would not like about yourself to actually so you, just, to, just to clarify, one second, just to clarify. So are you saying that for you, one of your biggest breakthroughs was – taking the time to go inwards and to consciously choose how you see things by going, like asking yourself, what are three things I appreciate? What are, is that what you're saying? The, the, yeah. that, that conscious work. And you yeah. can either go inwards, you can journal, you can do whatever, but it was doing that every single day and grounding and earthing into that focus was what right. shifted for you. Yes. Yeah, totally. And like Would loving things, things like I mentioned, again, well, go ahead. Could, could you repeat those questions again, the questions that you oh, asked? Oh, the I would ask, yeah. yeah. Um, three things I was grateful to myself for. Um, you know, and it could be that I knew it was hard for me to do something that day and yet I did it. 
and I was just great like nobody else knew how much it took for me to do that but I was grateful to myself that I pressed through anyway maybe I was grateful for myself that all this stuff was falling apart and I kept really peaceful you know there's all these different little nuances of things I would I would just notice and be grateful for all these different things um, three things I love about myself um, so, you know, I would, of course, say, I love you, but I, I would say, I love you because, I love you because of this, I love you because of that, because it just expands it out. Yeah. And then three things I would forgive myself for, and that could be anything from that day, These because there can be little things. Oh, hmm. you know, I didn't quite do that, and it can sit there. But if you actually just take care of it each day, you kind of house clean each day, yeah. it doesn't build up, you know, you don't build up. And then... Um, it, it could go back into something from the past and sometimes what's really cool about this is as you get in the mirror like that you get to realize things you've been carrying or things you've held against yourself for example or things you haven't quite let go of that maybe you didn't realize till that moment and as you become more transparent with yourself and with that experience of really loving and embracing every part of you it mm. just starts to come up and it lets you know, you know. Yeah, totally. But that, for me, has just been a, one of the biggest tools for me in in transformation is that process right there. It's just been amazing. And then, you know, as far as also like you actually, as far as loving myself, and is taking care of my body, you know, really mm. making sure that I take care of my body. I give my body healthy food pure water you know I always have to be making extra effort to make sure I get rest because I'm a bit of a you know driver I'll go and go and go at stuff so I have to really... over Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I probably fit that category quite well um, yeah <laughs> I did let's say. so I'm just very passionate and very driven and and I see where you know, I'm making an impact and making a difference, and I just want to keep making an impact, making a difference. But we do have to take care of ourselves, and if you don't have yourself, then you don't have anything. I'm seeing that because I'm on my phone, my battery is getting low. So I'm just going to quickly plug in, so I'm going to have to speak off headsets. Okay, cool. You plug, plug in, in while I entertain an awesome audience. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> how freaking epic is Cheryl sharing all her beautiful, gorgeous gifts and check out that lovely dress she's wearing as she goes to plug something in somewhere. <laughs> so for you, I want you to really tune in to everything we've spoken about so far and take your take the stuff that, you know, really resonates with you and apply it into your world. Here's one thing that I really want you to get and that's this. I truly believe the reason why I've manifested the life of my dreams and it continues to evolve and get better and better and better, even when I can't even imagine it being able to get better, is because I implement, is because when I listen to something like this and I hear something in it that makes me go, oh, that sounds awesome, I'll take that thing and I'll start doing it and implementing it and embodying it and have it, have it become my lifestyle. I When I look at all the stuff that I naturally do every single day, they're just my habits, right? They maintain a high vibration. They maintain a high frequency, you know, fueling my body, having high vibe music playing in the background, talking to my soul. You know, there is so many things that are going on every day in my world that I don't even think about because they're just who I am. They're who I've become that maintain this frequency. And therefore, I can call in to physical reality all the cool stuff because I'm in that vibrational state. So I encourage you to take the stuff that we've shared with you today and apply it. Put like, write it out, you know, commit to a month of doing this. Watch how it totally transforms your life, completely shifts everything and enjoy all the cool manifestations into the physical plane. And Cheryl's back. So, or maybe she's not. We're getting, woohoo, there we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> the um, you just need to put your headphones in, my love, and then we can hear you. And she's like, "Ooh, that's right. I need volume. <laughs> I need audio." <laughs> Have you got your headphones, honey? You gotta love it. Do you have your headphones? Because I can't hear you, my love. No audio. Nope. It's not there at all. 
she's like ooh where did it go so yeah and I'd love to obviously I'd love to know from you guys like what is it that you're you know what you're getting out of this podcast there's a Facebook group that I've created um, and on the um, on this podcast on the podcast website you can actually have access to it which is the live show with Gabby Kowalski join the Facebook group and let me know like what you're digging maybe like let me know what topics you'd like us to chat about on the vibe show and let me know how you go with implementing this cool stuff and I think I think I think Cheryl is back I'm sorry about all of that the um it's the same it's the same same outlet for the headphones as the plugging in so we'll just have to we'll just have to hope I stay charged here yeah my love, it's honestly been what such a great, it's been such a great conversation having you on. You've shared so much beautiful wisdom. Thank you so much. What's one thing, like what's been one big, big thing inside of your own journey into raising and shifting your vibration, your frequency? What's one last thing that you feel like you'd love to share with the people? And it could be a story. It could be a tool. It could be anything your soul desires to, to bestow. Mm. Wow. Well, I've definitely already shared the, the piece that I think is, is the absolute key, which is to love yourself. And um, I think another key is to, to one of the ways we really stay in touch with that is to stay present, you know, to stay really present with ourselves. Because again, you know, if we, if we pull to the future, to the past, like we've kind of lost where we've lost that, that that's the key to like being in tune in touch and a way to get present again we carry it with us these simple tools but is the breath and is to breathe and just to become conscious with your breathing and to um, observe your breathing like somebody said once you don't breathe in the future and you can't breathe in the past you can only breathe in the present I like and that. that's, that's cool. I know isn't that cool so that's yeah. why that's why the breath is so key to just really getting, you know, in, t in touch, really becoming present. And when mm. we're present, that's the golden moment. That's when we are at peace with everything because there's, we're just completely in that moment and that's the zone. And we all know we've all hit that zone at different times. When you do something you love, you usually slip into the zone and then you realize, oh, I lost track of time and, you know, and I feel so energized by what I'm doing. Um, so bringing really present moment awareness and being in that place of being, I'd say that that is um, that and loving yourself is probably two massive keys. Sometimes easier said than done, but yet it it is easy at the same time. Yeah. And guys, like take the journey. You know, if you know if this resonates with you, if you're like, oh man, this just makes so much sense, take the journey onto loving yourself and and trust your intuition do like do some awesome personal development events spiritual events potentially reach out and work with cheryl and like have some cool you know sound cool therapy like not, yeah. not really therapy it's like vibrational sound activation and resonance work reach out and, and like do the work on expanding yourself you know expanding your vibrations so you can call into physical reality all the cool stuff Cheryl, my love, it has been so fun. Yes, yeah, thank you. you too. I love your energy. It's so awesome. You, you're just, yeah, you're just, I mean, you know what's interesting too is I have actually witnessed your, your shift and your journey. You know, I've witnessed you go from that more overachiever place to this just super amped up, vibed up person. And it's interesting because you were not just an overachiever, but you were really achieving. Like you were really, you were really successful, and I saw you make the shift. But you, you have, you're a living example of it because you have expanded and grown more by kind of taking the foot off the gas pedal and going into this whole other kind of way of going about it and sharing that with people. You've grown so much more, and and it's so apparent. Like I mean, hanging out with you is like a shot in the arm. You know, it's just like better than a big B12, you know, B12. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like when you made me shot in the arm, you mean like a, a vitamin yeah, shot? Yeah, good shot. <laughs> right, vitamin <laughs> shot. No. Uh, maybe you don't put it in your arm, but, you know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now it was like a punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and there she goes again, ladies and gentlemen, the wordsmith, oh, the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love it. So funny. <laughs> Thank you for but I yeah, really... you're just so energized and you know, so full of life and such great vibrations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to me, the key to having it all in life is to blend the physical with the spiritual. It's to get that you are physical and you are spiritual, not one or the other, you know. And I think even though I was into personal development back then and I I was more into personal development for achieving in the physical plane, getting mm-hmm. into a great state, you know, then to actually activate my soul and activate co-creation I was controlling I wanted it was like there was a lot of ego back then where it was my personality was achieving a whole bunch of stuff and and I did burn out and I did achieve some stuff and I did not feel fulfilled because to really feel successful and fulfilled it's to it's to honor all of you (laughs) honor all of you your personality your soul your body all of it the energetic part of you and the physical part of you, the this world, this earthly personality and mm-hmm. your eternalness, you know. And to me, since doing that work, my gosh, like it's like you said, you know, it's evident. Yeah. But also everything is more delicious than I imagined it. And my imagination is pretty gosh damn awesome, you know. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. funny, you know. Um I, I say this to my clients uh, all the time, like just when you think it, it can't get better than this, it really does. And then all of a sudden, you know, because we, we do fluctuate in our vibration. We do. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's when you expand your vibrational frequency, so you're you're literally fluctuating in the higher realms. You know, mm-hmm. you don't fall down to guilt or sadness or depression. They're just not in your grid anymore. They're not in your hemisphere, this is not in your energetic field because every day you're connecting to your soul. Every day it's a habit for you to live in a way where you're blended with your soul. Where, you know, like, but think about it. I shared with you guys, I wake up and the first thing I say in the morning is, hey, soul. And I literally talk to my heart because I think my heart is like a, a, a wormhole to the fifth dimension. That's just mm-hmm. how I see it. So mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, I, I talk to my boob. <laughs> I, yeah, I talk to my heart. Um, and yeah. same with Cheryl, though, guys. Get it? Cheryl does like Cheryl's become this version of herself. And and I like the. I'd like to end this uh, this session off by like, oh, just letting you know, high vibration is not a project. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of being, not a way of doing. It's embodying a whole bunch of behavioral habits and thinking processes and identity i like i can't imagine my life any other way i can't ima- like i just the that old identity doesn't exist i can't even work more than a couple of hours a day because it's not in my alignment anymore like there's just so much does that make sense and mm-hmm. same with Cheryl she does this she doesn't just do sound stuff every now and then she's in inside of this she's using sound in her day to day life it's not something we do at a weekend workshop, guys. This is something we become. Then you get results. So if you're listening to this and you've been to spiritual workshops, you've done work with coaches or healers before, and you found yourself on a vibrational roller coaster, it's because you need to become the version of yourself that honors vibration and is a custodian to a higher vibration over anything else, over being right, over being lazy. <laughs> and when you become that version of yourself that just – does the stuff that keeps you in that vibrational frequency guess what you get to stay there and you spend very very little time in contrasting moments you find your way home so quickly so Mm -hmm. quickly and you stay blended with all of yourself present like Cheryl said in love with yourself you know and oh so that that is how would you would you agree with that? Would you agree that oh. your key has been like implementation and mastery and, and embodying all of this rather than just ooh I did this workshop ooh I did this thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's more you know and that's actually the purpose of meditation. It's not to spend hours in meditation. It's to actually be a walking, living, breathing in that state. You know you work, you don't need to separate it all out. I've actually had some of my most enlightened moments in like the parking lots and 
train stations and airports and sometimes because we also that is the places where we can sometimes be detached and oh, I have okay. a lot of you know a lot of inspiration in those moments I mean I can be just as inspired in the city as in, in nature nature tends to harmonize me a lot more but it's just I I I, something I have sought to do is to um, kind of erase all the segmentation from things and just be in flow. So, I, you know, for me, success is being in that flow all through the day, not that I get through the day and then I go off here. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that... Cheryl's physical entity has somehow exited our podcast and our show. So I'm going to sign off for both of us. It was so cool having her on the show and I trust you got value from this. I trust that this conversation has expanded you, shifted you, given you your vibrational vitamins for the day. And just remember, you truly can be, do and have it all and you were born to live your dreams. Ciao.